Manny Pacquiao has made a strong statement to the boxing world that he is still a force to be reckoned with by absolutely dominating Adrian Broner over the weekend. The 40-year-old senator was mobile in the ring and still able to pile on the punches, landing over 100. Often in four or six punch combos, Broner in response had little to offer, waiting on the counter and landing a meager 50 shots. Judges scored the fight overwhelmingly for Pacquiao. In fact, the only person who thought Broner had been even slightly competitive was Broner himself. I really did believe that I want to fight. Like I said, man, you know, um, I, I, I'm, I'm going to answer anybody's question. I, I don't feel bad for myself. I feel good. What's up? And the routine questions for Pacquiao about a potential rematch with Floyd Mayweather, who was ringside at the fight, were met with the now standard deflections. If you want to uh, come up from, from the retirement, then uh, announce it and uh, challenge me. I mean, uh, I'm a champion, and uh, I don't pick uh, any opponent. Uh, it depends on, you know, I'm just waiting who, who will challenge me, uh, who will challenge my, my belt. Speaking of challenging for belts, Mexican superstar Canelo Alvarez has locked in his Cinco de Mayo fight against IBF middleweight champ Danny Jacobs. Canelo's last fight was up a division, a three-round cakewalk against Rocky Fielding. But it appears his future is at middleweight for the time being, which is good news for fans holding out for a third go-round with Gennady Golovkin. That match should be determined by which promoter Golovkin signs with now his contract with HBO has expired. Canelo's promoter DAZN are reportedly keen to lock Triple G in, which would make the rematch a near certainty. Of course, this all hinges on Alvarez getting past Danny Jacobs, who went 12 close rounds with Triple G and is widely considered the third best middleweight on the planet. And English heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua's plans have been thrown for an even bigger loop than anticipated by the surge of interest in Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder's potential rematch. Last year, AJ booked Wembley for April 13th, specifically for the fight with WBC champ Wilder. But Wilder's recent draw with Fury bumped him from the top of the list, and the unified champ is having difficulty finding an opponent. With the top three choices of Wilder, Fury, and Dylan White looking elsewhere, AJ's promoter Eddie Hearn has now begun to float the idea of scrapping the date and instead booking a debut fight in America later in the year. If he can't get Wilder, Fury, or Dylan, Hearn told press, don't be surprised to see Anthony Joshua in June against Big Baby Miller in Madison Square Garden. In MMA, Henry Cejudo retained his flyweight belt and cut short TJ Dillashaw's dream of becoming a dual division champion in brutal fashion, earning a stoppage in 32 seconds of the first round. A head kick, a knockdown, and a series of clean shots from the former Olympic gold medalist were enough for referee Kevin McDonald to wave the fight off. But Dillashaw was unhappy with what he thought was an early stoppage. And there was a big upset in one championship as Japanese Shuto champ Yusuke Saruta unseated strawweight champion Joshua Pacquiao with a unanimous decision in Jakarta, Indonesia. The young Team Lakai champ came out in typical fashion, leading with his fast wushu striking. But Saruta's slick grappling game proved the deciding factor as the Japanese fighter managed to take the champ down and control him for the win.